Mic test, mic test. Alright, what is up everybody? Now, with Tekken 7 being underway and me exploring the character customization, I thought it would be cool if I made a series of videos where we're just having some fun. Now, looking at some of these character customizations, you can tell they made a lot of references to several other games. So with this series, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to turn the Tekken characters into characters from other animes, fighting games, etc. And the first one I'm going with is we're going to turn Lee into K from King of Fighters. I already got all the stuff bought already. Got to make him closely resemble K from King of Fighters as much as possible. So the first thing that we need is we need to get the outfit right. That's the first thing that we need to do. K's hair is white. Now there were several iterations of K and you know, over the series of, of the King of Fighter games. So I'm going with the most recent memory I have of them. Hmm. See what else he had. Well he had a ponytail. K damn sure didn't have no ponytail. Of course, you know he had the shades. K had shades. So you gotta make sure you get in the right specs. These weren't that big. He had some thin, thin shades. Like these. His shades won't look more like that. He had a red tinge inside, so we're gonna turn the inside red. Make it a little darker. And you can see. Oh no, wrong thing got changed. Oh no, we gotta keep this. Keep that black. There we go. That's a little bit better. Alright, no face paint. Um, jacket right here. It's basically already set, but we gotta change some things around. This gotta stay black. This is his shoulder pad. That stays black. Back to make it. Gotta turn this around. Because his gloves were black, but he had like a red coating on top of him. Here we go. And I said I'm going off of my most recent memory of K, King of Fighters. So now these aren't going to turn black all the way because then it's not going to match the jacket. It's going to make everything match up a little bit. So I say let's do three from the top on down. Three. And this is for the boots right here just in case y'all need to see. Boots got a little tinge of green in them. One thing about these King of Fighter, one, one thing about these Tekken game, well, this Tekken game, is that some of the colors don't even look like what they're supposed to look like on the color palette. Like, the color palette doesn't really correspond to the color that's changing on some of the outfits. And some, just, but, uh, we're gonna turn, let's see. If I remember correctly, he had all black shoes, right? I don't know, or did he have like some red in his shoes? I don't know, what I look. But only for the sake of the gloves, we're gonna just turn that part right there red. Turn it black. Might as well just turn these solid black because they're not really not really anything else. Like I said, I just wanted this to match the jacket. I didn't really of course, he had darker skin. So, you know, we gotta give him the, uh, the red hitbox for that fire. For that fire. There we go. And. It's a shame you can't turn that jacket into like, a darker color. Let me uh go back and change. And the all black. Let me see if, if they look like this. They probably look better than what the way I see them. Ah, they still yeah, they get way darker than what the jacket is. The jacket not that dark. 
thought they would have had like a darker jacket, but they don't. That's it. That's the best jacket right there. This is provoking the UK. But this could work. Well, no, because Katie never had a, a jacket like this. He just had like a leather jacket. We're trying to be accurate with the cosplay here. Yeah, they really couldn't make it any darker than that? So we just want to build it. So let me go back to the pants. Brighten the day on these pants. Yeah, that's clearly not the way K acts, but again, it's a cosplay. So let's uh let's just deal with it. <laughs> There you have it. Lee Chowan as K from King of Fighters. <laughs>